We always hear that immersion is more important than graphics in VR. And why is it that some of the most immersive VR experiences out there look like they're running off a crappy 2008 PC? Well today, or tonight, depends on where you live, I want to really try to do a deep dive. Go through an analysis on what actually makes a VR game immersive and why do high-end visuals sometimes get in the way? And why does a game like Into the Radius feel more real than sometimes like AAA shooters now on flat screen? Well, that's all for the intro, so I think I should just start talking about it. But first impressions do matter, you know? Just generally gives the players a higher expectation, which is what I might be calling for the rest of the video, the quote unquote AAA expectation. How the flat gaming carries over to VR. People do expect fidelity sometimes, and whether you like it or not, sometimes it does give a better experience. Not all the time, so you don't have to agree with me on that. Also keep in mind that hubris and games like The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners have great visuals. And is that what kept the players hooked? Probably not, because I'll get into more stuff later in the video on how those games could get the players a little bit more interested than just graphics. What actually creates immersion though? Tactical mechanics where you got manual reloading, which is pretty much in every VR shooter at this point, let's be honest. But you mean like the really like detailed realistic manual reloading, not just like old contractors or Pavlov reloading. Some people consider that realistic, I personally don't. Compared to games like x Zone and Tabor, so. You got the better, higher quality ones. You got the object weight in some games that like Blade and Sorcery and Bone Lab. Those games are physics based, so that's gonna easily create immersion if it's good enough and built from the ground up and built well enough. And interaction depth. A good example for this is Half-Life Alex. You know that game, you can pick up almost any object from whatever. Like that's that's just insane. You can pick up almost anything in the world, you can do whatever, it's just entirely physics based, so it's just easily gonna create immersion. Not to mention that you have sound design like directional audio, reverb, and ambient sounds. Just the general, you know, presence, being able to have like good hand physics, like Batman VR, where you can move your hands on certain objects and it will almost react to it. It's weird, I don't know how else to describe it. Real stakes, like survival resource management, like Into the Radius or Tabor, I mentioned that earlier. You gotta know what you're going in with to know what you're gonna come out with, hopefully coming out with something better. The real stakes on losing that though, that's something different. You're gonna lose stuff occasionally, and that's gonna be a big risk that you lose all the good stuff. You don't want that. However, it's possible for it to happen. And that's what makes the real survival high stakes. And that's what's gonna make it really immersive and make you engage. Engagement is gonna really increase immersion in these type of games that are actually video games and not really experiences. And here's where we get to the hidden problem. Visuals can break immersion. For example, when you get like a photorealistic door and it's hyper-realistic graphics and you can't open the door, that's gonna really break immersion, you know? <laughs> I don't see how that wouldn't break immersion. Players are gonna feel like they're in the world, but when they are unable to f interact with that world or feel like you're there, the presence of being in that world, it's not gonna feel like you're in that world anymore, will it? It's just the honest truth. Stylized games sometimes do get the upper hand with that though, because expectations are clearer, like Super Hot and Beat Saber, you're not gonna be able to like interact with everything you see. You know, it's very straightforward gameplay. And like Into the Radius, it's got low graphics for quests at least, like fidelity. The high immersion though is what's gonna make the game far better. And the manual reloading, the slow pace, realism, all that. It's gonna make the game far better. On the other side of the spectrum, you got Boneworks and Blaine Sorcery and games like that. They are very often janky. And it, it's a physics game in VR. I don't know what else you expect. However, it can be immersive at times due to its physics. So it, it can be good, it can be bad sometimes. When it works though, it works. And the freedom you get with those physics is gonna also increase immersion, especially when you got those slightly higher realistic graphics. Hubris, I've heard a lot of people say has really nice graphics. That's a good example. Half-Life Alex is really good balance with good graphics and deeply immersive gameplay. It has really good gameplay. Here's the thing in VR though. Graphics matter, but only after the foundation of immersion is solid. It needs to be solid for graphics to be good. Visuals can impress you, but immersion possesses you, almost. 
you gotta have a solid, immersive gameplay experience before you can focus on graphics. Just have graphics be like the final touch, you know? Almost like just a boost for the better gameplay and just make it feel generally better. Well, if you just got really good graphics but awful immersive gameplay, it's gonna ruin the entire immersion. What we remember isn't how pretty the game looked, it's how real it felt. So yeah, graphics might get you in the door, but immersion is what keeps you inside that door, inside that room where you don't wanna leave. You know, the immersive, like beautiful gameplay and graphics, or down to the horrors of Metro Awakening. Just looking back at my previous videos, I still feel like we're going on the right track with VR. It's gonna succeed, that's all that matters. Let me know in the comments on what your favorite VR game is that does this exact example. I don't care if it looks like garbage, it's supposed to be immersive, that's what this video is about. Also, if you did like this video and you want more people to see it, click the like button and subscribe if you wanna say you're the first people to be a part of this channel. And then later down the line, if I ever get popular in one of my live streams, you can just pop in and say like, yo, I was one of the first people to join. You can freely say that because it's the truth. So you can be an OG. That's your decision if you don't want to sub though. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video or live stream. Goodbye everyone.